All right, good morning, y'all. Y'all ever woke up? <clears throat> Hold on one sec. So I'm up this morning getting ready to go, and um, I got a vendor. I'm going to be a vendor at the uh, one of the sites here. But have you ever woke up? <clears throat> You know, you're just thinking about the Lord and thinking about your life and God begin to really, really minister to you. Well, that's what's happened to me. Even thinking about my live I did on last night, just, just you know, thinking about a lot of things in general. You know, hon, let me tell you something. Excuse me, y'all. So, uh, got on up. So, I love to listen to worship music. So, I was listening, you know, going through some songs, just trying to find different worship music. And I come upon uh, Leandra Johnson. Well, it was Donald Lawrence. And he had a song called Deliver Me. And it was featuring Leandra Johnson. Now, first, I'm going to tell you, I said, I'm not fitting to listen to Miss Leandra. Because Miss Leandra done cussed the church out. I mean, she gave it to us, honey. You hear me? <coughs> but I clicked on it. And in the beginning of the song, uh, Donald Lawrence was saying some things. But, babe, when that Leandra started singing, Oh, Lord, deliver me. Because I continue, I could, I, I seem to only just hurt me. Now let me tell you something. I could relate to that song so deeply, so deeply, and I, I just honor God. I thank God for this revelation on this morning, a reminder on this morning, and through the ministry of that song. Oh, God, deliver me. Listen, we have one enemy, one enemy, and it is the devil. It's the devil. When I begin to look back over my life, all the years that God has brought me, you know, I've even, okay, Mr. West, Kanye West. There's a whole lot of different judgment about Kanye West. Even I had an opinion about it, about Mr. West. And even thinking about Leandra and, you know, things she's done. But, baby, I said, well, Mr. West is doing this and Mr. West is doing that. And Miss Leandra's done this and Miss Leandra's done that. You know, looking on, looking, you know. To the left at them, and I, I don't really want to hear them. I really can't get into that. But baby, God took the curtain of event life and he pulled it back. Now I, I done looked over here at Mr. West and Leandra, and I see all the stuff they doing, and you know, I ain't want to have no parts of it. But baby, God had me look at the curtain of my own, my own. Raggedy life. Now they, there's some stuff behind that curtain ain't nobody seen. Don't know but God. Cause you know they some stuff can't none of us share with nobody but God. So as he pulled back the curtain of my own life, when I was a youth, in my early adulthood, in my in my thirties, you know, just showed me the course of my life. We use a lack. I'm gonna get this right here out. Anyway, whenever I said all that to say this here, <clears throat> when we look at the course of our lives, I you know my life has been. I got saved. I backslid. I got saved. I backslid. 
even in my walk with God, some parts of my walk with God, I was in rebellion. I just refused to resist God. I did what I wanted to do. I said, well, Lord, you're going to forgive me. I'm going to ahead and do this right here. I've done some things and held on to some beliefs that were contrary to God over the course of my life. But God, in his mercy, in his grace, in his kindness, has brought me this far. So what I'm saying, or what God was saying to me, God pulled, however, or whatever the course of our life may be, as long as we stay with God. See, I had given my life to God. I was in his hand. I was in his care. But through the road, through the process of following God, and it won't always good. Like a child, how many times does your baby fall? How many times did your child have a temper, tem temper tantrum? We don't even count it because it's so many. But the result is stay with God. Okay, I see you in rebellion. Okay, honey, that right there, that belief you got right there ain't even, it don't even match what the Bible says. But stay with God. And as you continue to walk in the light, God will do the transformation. Now, I'm not saying we approve sin. I'm not saying we condone sin. We don't condone sin. But let us as individuals, Mr. West, Leandra Johnson, ourselves, there was a course. There was a process of life. There was a process of development with God. So I just thank God. Lord, have mercy. Deliver me, Lord. Help me, God. This is my exodus. This is my road out. So I just say for the body of Christ, the devil is trying to kill all of us. But if we stay with God, okay, we might not, the, some of our beliefs right now, honey, don't make sense. But if we stay with God, I promise God will bring light on a situation. He'll bring light on a situation. So my prayer, Lord, help me, Jesus, and God, forgive me. Forgive me for making too quick of a judgment. Because of what I see folks are doing right now. Because my God, people have counted me out when I called myself a Christian making quick judgment. Girl, how you going to be talking about you, you preaching and you doing this and that and just the other week you was doing so and so. This is my exodus. This is my road to coming out. God is delivering me. Look what God has brought me to now. Oh, let's pray for one another. Let's love one another. No, we're not what we want to be, but thank God we ain't where, where we started. So I just honor God. I'm on, I'm on the Lord's side. I want all of us. I don't want none of us to perish. I pray for Mr. West. I pray for Leandra. For strength to overcome every stronghold, every struggle, every sin. The devil is our enemy. God, where there may be confusion, make it clear, Lord. For all of us, help us to hate sin and help us to love you. But God, this is our exodus. You are bringing us out. Lord, have mercy. Just stay with God. So I encourage all believers. All of us that's come to God. All of us that know Jesus is Lord. Hey, we got that part right. He is Lord. You know, there was a two opinions on the cross with Jesus. One said, if you be. And the other one said, I know that you are. There were two opinions at the cross. But my God, at least one of them said, I know you are the Christ. Glory to God. Long as we get on his path, in that path, they are going to be bumpy roads. In that path, there are going to be a lot of things going on in our life, in the course of our lives. 
But just as long as we stay with God, as long as we as the people of God will lift him up in prayer, you know they're fighting spiritual warfare. Whatever Mr. West is coming out of, baby, that's some deep spiritual stuff. So we as the believer, let's lift. Let's lift him up. Let's lift Miss Leandra. Let's lift ourselves. Let's lift the body of Christ. Let's lift those that are up what in Hollywood. We got to start in the spiritual realm. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. No, we don't condone sin. I'm going to have to keep saying that. We don't condone sin, but we're going to come against the one that is influencing, the one that brings confusion. 